Hello everybody, what is up? Cobra here again with another 5-minute Global War 1936 expansion set review. Now this is a pretty simple one that came out a while ago. This is the Dutch Cruiser 1047. Now, this is another one of those expansions kind of like the uh, Panzer Rat or the Project Ice Carrier for the British where it's kind of half a just 3D printed piece that you can buy and it's also a little bit of an expansion set that you can get too. Now, the Dutch Cruiser 1047 came out a while ago, but since then, it kind of just falls into the category in V3 as a battle cruiser unit. As you can see, I've got a purple tip um, in my games representing a battle cruiser. And of course, mine is painted up. If you bought this unit, you would be getting it in a solid 3D printer gray color. So basically, in general, you're basically just getting a battle cruiser unit that's 3D printed. A lot of great detail on this thing for the Dutch. Now, usually you're not going to see this thing, you know, as the Dutch player, uh, if you do decide to have the Dutch in your games, as they usually get wiped out. They also don't even have any shipyards to build such a unit, or except for in the Never Netherlands. So, basically, how do you use this unit? Well, for the one thing is that if you check out the rulebook, which is down in the description, basically where you can find the rulebook and extra rules for this on historical board gaming, you can basically find there's a separate scenario you can play, which is basically a little mini game where the Japanese are attacking the Dutch East Indies, and as the Dutch player, you can basically try to defend them. It's a fun little mini game. I highly suggest you check it out. You know, it's a little kind of bar and pretzels type game that you can just play on a 1940 map or a Global 36 map, like a little theater scale game, if you will. So the other way you can implement this is playing it with you know, your Dutch units in Global War 1936. Now, how I usually represent this unit, so there's two ways that you can go about it. The suggested way by historical board gaming is replacing one of the Dutch cruisers that starts in the Dutch East Indies with this unit, which I think is a pretty cool option. But at the same time, it's not historically accurate in the sense that, that the cruiser 1047 never actually got built. It was commissioned by the Dutch, as they wanted a heavy battle cruiser to send to the, the Pacific, but the problem was is they went with Germany to construct it, and of course Germany went to war with pretty much everyone, including the Dutch, so they never got their massive battle cruisers. So basically how I've implemented them before, and if you've ever checked out some of my older gameplay videos, uh, one of my first Global War games, basically I start with this thing on the battle board. So how it works is that it starts on the battle board in position two like a normal battle cruiser and the Dutch you know they only make one IPP a turn um, while they're neutral so how it works is that they can save up try to build this battle cruiser and what will happen is it'll show up at a German shipyard so um, basically you know they can save up I think it's uh, six IPP right or might be a four uh, four or five IPP, I forget now, for battle cruisers, and then they can try to build it, and it would just get dropped in at the German dockyard and maybe keel. And from there, they can then use it to, say, go to the Pacific or keep it in Europe. And, yeah, basically, that's how that works. And if the Germans go to war, then basically the thing just gets stuck. The Germans can lend lease it, as you know they usually can. Um, I don't know why they would send it to the Dutch, but basically... It's just a hope that the Dutch can maybe complete it before the war starts. Or if they could capture a German shipyard, they could basically build the thing from there. But overall, pretty fun little set. Um, don't think it's, you know, too exciting. You're not really going to see this thing show up all the time unless you place it right there on the map. And even then, it's just kind of throwing in a battle cruiser to the Pacific that will likely get wiped out by the Japanese. So... Not the best unit ever. One thing I do consider is if you like to have historically accurate units and everything, uh, for the Dutch at least, you've got this to represent a battle cruiser. You know, if you have someone that likes to play as the Dutch or you like the Dutch implemented in your games. So yeah. And of course, not a huge cost. It's one unit. So highly suggest you guys check out this expansion set if you're interested. And I hope to see you guys again. Comment down below on what expansion you'd like to see next. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Cobra out.